Hi friends, I am Sai Chitanya. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech. In today's video, we will try to compare the PUBG gameplay and graphics settings between the Realme Narzo R30 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy F62 device. The Samsung Galaxy F62 has got the Exynos R9825 processor. So, whereas the Realme Narzo R30 Pro has got the Dimensity 800U processor. So, let's see, friends, uh, which phone will be having the better uh, PUBG gameplay and which phone will be having the better graphics graphics settings as well and this is a test which I am doing without using any kind of GFX tool. So this is the most important thing. Uh, so no GFX tool is used and just as it is uh, what what are the default graphics settings you will be getting in both the smartphones. So let's compare side by side and real time FPS meter as well. I will try to keep on track. So we will we'll see the how is the FPS is going on in both the smartphones as well. And just in case if you want to uh, download this live wallpaper so make sure to check the links in description and also do subscribe subscribe to my channel site guru for more details as well so let me quickly launch the pubg game in both phones at same time so let's see which phone will open faster as well so this is another test uh, you can see so right now and uh, if you want to know more details about this both phones so make sure to check the playlist which will be available in the links in description below so check those playlists and you will get to know more details about the all the smartphones So both phones are they open kind of uh, faster and close to each other. So let me try to quickly increase the brightness in this Samsung phone. So the brightness has been increased and uh, let me try to uh, show you the first settings what which phone has a what type of settings the graphic settings mainly. So that is what made uh, where my focus is in this currently uh, video. So let me try to go back in this uh, Samsung phone and in the in this Samsung phone you do have this kind of real time FPS meter. So I'll try to do a separate video in case if you want to know how to add this uh, real time FPS meter in the Samsung phones. I'll do a video on that particular topic and let me try to go to the settings which is available here. And in the Realme phone in the Realme Narzo R30 Pro you do get only smooth and uh, as you can see smooth and ultra settings only so there is no smooth and extreme settings so in the samsung phone you are getting the smooth and extreme settings so exynos 9825 is quite powerful and it's very good uh, better than the dimensity 800u processor it's definitely it's better than this uh, realme phone so you can see the difference between the uh, by default graphics so smooth and extremes versus smooth and ultra as you can see friends so this is what i'm talking friends uh, most phones uh, they do come only with the smooth and ultra only very good uh, premium and smartphones and very good powerful chipsets only they do come with this kind of smooth and extreme settings to play with so without using any kind of gfx tool so let me quickly uh, go to the um, main main map and try to start the match as well so let me to quickly deselect everything And uh, during this time of gameplay, I'll try to use the real-time FPS meter which is present in the Realme phones on the top. And in the Samsung phones, you do have this kind of real-time FPS where you can track it. So let's see friends, how will be the gameplay and obviously the smooth and extreme settings phone will be having the 60 FPS. So which will be better advantage in the Samsung phone or rather than in the Realme phone. So that's what uh, the difference is. And we can track the real-time FPS meter in the Realme phones using the game toolbar as you can see as a notification. So which is a really good advantage. So again I'll be back friends once the match has been started. So it's taking quite uh, some time. So the Samsung phone has been started the match and the Realme is still searching for the matching. So right now you can see friends both uh, matches are ready in both the phones. So let me try to uh, show the real time FPS meter how much I am getting. So let me try to keep running and uh, show you the real time FPS. So it will be easy uh, way to see which phone has a better advantage. As you can see friends the phone uh, the Samsung phone has got the smooth and extreme settings. So definitely this will be having the very good advantage over the Realme phone. So that's why you will be seeing around uh, 60 FPS of real time FPS meter. So if you notice here 60 FPS you are getting. So whereas the Realme Narzo is staying around uh, 40 FPS only since the phone is supported only the smooth and ultra by default so without using any kind of GFX tool so if you use the GFX tool in the Realme phone you will definitely reach 60 FPS but uh, 
my point is that without using any gfx tool what will be the maximum fps you can play so because most of the users they are really worried about the account getting banned so that's why i thought of doing a separate video so with gfx tool and without gfx tool so this video is a without gfx tool and there will be another uh, video coming as well so which will be the with gfx tool after using the gfx tool application so in this way we'll get to know which phone will be having the better advantage So if you are having any other doubts regarding the both smartphones, so make sure to comment below friends. Definitely I'll do my best uh, to do that kind of video, what you request of her. So in the upcoming days, I'll try to compare the display, loudspeaker, camera, haptic feedback and a lot of other uh, comparisons between these smartphones definitely. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for those uh, videos. So overall friends, the final uh, winner is the Samsung Galaxy F62, which is a clear winner because of having the very good uh, FPS and which is supported with the smooth and extreme as well. And for more this kind of interesting videos, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. And if you have any queries, make sure to comment below. So thank you friends for watching this video and see you in the next video friends. Until then, bye.